Hello, this is the Crafty Chemist. I also go by Happy, And today I'm gonna swatch some watercolors that I picked up. This is the Potter's Pink by Windsor and Newton. I picked these up at Blick in person when I was in the Kansas City area for Thanksgiving. And I have not had time to play with these yet. So I really like this color of pink. I had seen somebody swatching some of these and making an ideal palette. So I was glad to see a Potter's Pink to give it a try. I've never really had much experience with watercolors that come in tubes. I did knock my mister over onto the little trays that I had been squeezing it into and so I'm going to just work off of the water bottle, the squirt bottle, for some of this swatching. So here you can see I already took the potter's pink off. Now I'm going to take this red off. I just didn't want to waste it so actually I'll, I may even paint off of the spray bottle later. So just squirt a little bit of water into the little tray here. And this one is a also a Windsor and Newton uh, quinacridone red. And it's got a really pretty pink tone to it. And it seems pretty transparent. I'm just using some watercolor paper that I got in a big set of multi-sized loose watercolor papers. It does have a nice texture to the paper. Now I'm going to take this blue off of here. This is another Windsor and Newton color. This one was French ultramarine, if I remember correctly. This is a very nice bright blue color. Since I don't have very many colors of watercolor in tubes, I tried to get stuff that I thought I could maybe blend pretty well. So this is a Blick Payne's Gray. I also wanted to try quite a few different brands of watercolor. I have some Daniel Smith. I have a violet color and a turquoise color from Daniel Smith. So, these tubes will all be real nice, I think, put together. This Payne's Gray is a nice bluish gray color. Now, um, here's a green, this Prussian green. This one, actually, I had put into the pan earlier and it has dried. So I, I put it in right after I got back from Thanksgiving. So it's been in the pan for a couple of weeks. But this feels like such a pretty clear green color like when I think of green this is the color green I think of
And now I have a Holbein Quinacridone Gold. Also had been put into the pan right after Thanksgiving, so this has already set. I'll put some water on it to get it going. And I have not seen this color, but it's so pretty. And it mixes in really well with all the other colors you'll see here in a minute. I'm gonna start just playing around and seeing what colors look like when they start blending. And then at the end of the video, I'll show you after everything is dried. So that's the colors and here I go on playing. Thanks for watching. Maybe give the video a like, and I can't wait to play with these later.